Hey guys, it's Mary Beth. Um, we are here to do a little breakdown of my top five shoes of 2019. So they are in no particular order, but these are the shoes that really impressed me this year. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So first, I would say the Epic React. Um, that was a shoe I relied on a lot as a trainer uh, over the past year. And I just thought it was really nice and easy. No complaints about the shoe. I like how it has like a nice wide platform for a footbed because I have some ankle stability issues. So it's nice to get a nice wide straight last. I like how soft it is, but then it's still pretty springy. And yeah, it was just a shoe I found myself kind of pulling out of the closet over and over for runs. Next shoe in my top five from 2019 is the Ultra Temp. This is my first Ultra shoe. And I'm not gonna lie, I used to be a little bit skeptical about Ultra and the whole zero drop thing. And those shoes look kind of weird and I don't really wanna wear them. Yeah, I actually met one of the founders from Ultra uh, back in January and he gave us a little talk about the technology and the science behind the shoes. And like, he kind of won me over a little bit. Um, I got a pair of the Temps and I was really impressed by them. I like the zero drop platform. Um, it feels really natural and good and I don't know, the cushioning in the temp is just really nice. It's like if you took the Lone Peak, which is a great trail shoe, and then you kind of combined it with uh, the Torin. So it's like if the Lone Peak and the Torin had a baby, it's just like a really smooth ride, nice cushion, but not too much shoe. Um, and yeah, it really impressed me. It's been my go-to trail shoe lately. Next shoe that impressed me was the Hoka Rincon. I'm apparently not, not allowed to say this. Oh, you can say it. I can say it. Well, okay, so the Rincon is very reminiscent of a Hoka shoe that we know and love. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, it's a nice little throwback, a nice nod to one of the OGs. Super lightweight, I was so impressed by how lightweight it is. And yeah, it's just soft without feeling too mushy and too marshmallowy, because I don't really like that. It gives me problems with my ankles and my feet, but yeah, soft, easy to wear, feels fast. I could definitely see wearing it on tempos or workouts um, or like for a long run. My next shoe is the On Cloud Swift. So I really like On. I like that they're low drop. I like that they're flexible and responsive. But my beef with On is that they're always just pretty narrow and restrictive, like in the toe box. And the Cloud Swift was the first on that really impressed me in that way of being really accommodating. The upper feels nice and light, but it's still roomy and it feels secure and you feel stable in it. I just feel like they're on to something with that one. The heel, my one downfall is the heel stack is a little much. It's actually like a seven drop and I would love it if it was more of like a four. But yeah, it's a great shoe. I've been wearing it for long runs, daily runs super easy to wear. So my number five shoe, I said that these were in no particular order, which was true, but this shoe is the top. Nothing compares, it's the goat shoe. And also I know I said that these were shoes of 2019, but I'm gonna cheat a little bit because this shoe came out in 2018. But I love it so much, it's gotta be in the top five. The Saucony Freedom ISO blew me away. I just think it's a great go-to it's got that nice four millimeter drop. It's super low drop. It's very plush feeling shoe. I really love the, uh, what's the foam called? The Everrun. The Everrun, how could I forget? Um, yeah, the Everrun foam feels really nice and plush without being too mushy. It's also super responsive. And yeah, that's one of the first lower drop, more minimal feeling shoes that I've found that is also really soft and squishy and nice. The ISO upper is very nice. It's accommodating, but also gives you like a good custom fit in the midfoot. And yeah, I work run specialty and that shoe is kind of like my silver bullet. Like usually whenever I bring it out, that's the shoe that the customer ends up going with. It just seems like it's a shoe that works really well for everyone, whether you're a fast runner who's like elite and trying to hit like really fast times or whether you're just like a really casual runner who like just wants a comfy shoe. Seems like everyone really loves it and also, you can't beat the durability. I wore mine for like a full year before I was like, okay, I should stop wearing these on runs. They just last a really long time. So yeah, Freedom Miso, best shoe of 2018 and 2019, in my opinion. 
you know they're going to do Freedom ISO 3 in I know. February. I, I thought there's going to be no ISO. There's no ISO and they're changing it from Everrun. So it's going to be Freedom 3. So Freedom 3, no ISO. No Everrun. They're changing it. Get the Freedom ISO while you can. Um, all right, guys, so that's my top five shoes of 2019 with an asterisk 2018 2019 thanks for watching uh yeah let me know what you think i want to hear your top five put them in the comments don't forget to subscribe and with that being said stay in school be sure to stay in school there it is don't do drugs if you can keep it tight keep it tight i forgot the outro okay let's subscribe anyway